Last weekend, I had my best performance of Madden 22 weekend league with 18 wins, but just miss out on getting inside the top 100 in the world. This week, we matched our win total with 18 wins, but we made it inside the top 100 of the world, just sneaking in at number 96. These are going to be the rewards that we get for placing 96th in the world. Plus, I'm going to be showing you guys the team that led me to glory in my first top 100 finish in the world in Madden 22. Ladies and gentlemen, what's happening? It is Sean and welcome back to the channel. Today is Tuesday, which means it is weekend league reward day. And yes, as you see by the intro, as you see by the thumbnail, and as you see by the title of the video, we finally placed inside the top 100 for the first time here in Madden 22. 96th in the world, we just snuck into the top 100. I finished my weekend league around, I say like 1 a.m. Central Standard Time. The leaderboards close at, I believe, 10 a.m. Eastern time. So it was going to be another time crunch for sure. I think I was sitting at like 75th in the world at the time when I was done. So I slid down about 20 spots. 20 other people passed me in a span of about eight hours. But we were able to squeeze in for the first time. And I'm going to be showing you guys top 100 rewards for the first time here on the channel. And I am super excited to do so. Now, for those of you that need proof, just in case, you know, I haven't hit you over the head with it enough here. There it is. 18 wins back to back. 18 win performances here in Madden 22. It is tough to do. We we're able to do it. I actually went ahead and I finished on a five game win streak. Before that, though, I was on a four game win streak. So I was 13 and four lost or sorry, 13 and three lost four straight, which put me at 13 and seven and then we close out our final five with all w so we finished 18 and seven for the second straight week in a row and i'll once again show you guys the team that we have been using over the past couple of weeks that has got me these good performances and it's mostly attributed to one player and one player are only but you guys will see that here momentarily all right we're scrolling down scrolling down scrolling all the way down here we're all the way at the bottom of the barrel here this weekend but for the first time in Madden 22, boom, there you see it, 18 wins, 96 in the world, a 90 strength of schedule, which is pretty low. I don't know the exact formula. We don't know the exact science behind what they use to determine strength of schedule. I think the time of the night that you play, the amount of people you get to force to rage quit has something to do with it. We still don't know the exact science behind the strength of schedule number, but mine was just above a 90, which once again is, as you can see here, it was cutting it close. These guys had, I mean, this guy had 86, 88, 89, 89, and a 90 for us. So once again, we, we just, just squeezed in here. Super excited to show you guys these rewards. It is the frozen promo. It is the zero chill promo right now. So there is a ton of content in the game. There's bonos, there's legend cards. There's so many other cards that we're going to try to go ahead and try to pull for you guys here. I don't know exactly what the rewards are for placing inside the top 100. I'm going to double check for you guys here really quick. Actually, we don't really need to double check because here they are. They have just come into my account. We get 225,000 coins, a quarter of a milli just about for placing inside the top 76 through 100. It's virtually the same. They, we get the same rewards from 76 down to 100. So it's like we finished inside the top 75 almost. So that's cool. 225,000 coins right off the rip. We're gonna go ahead and quick sell that. And here is what we all get. We get two each of Hail Mary, Midfield, Red Zone, and Touchdown. And then we get an 89 overall plus. But that is gonna be our money maker here in this weekend league reward video guys if you enjoy the content that i produce here on the channel make sure you go ahead and leave a like i also stream on twitch it is down below in my link tree my link tree is where i have all my links in one central location and included in that link tree is also my TikTok, where i post a lot of short videos highlights and clips and whatnot and that has been taking off in a rather good form for me so i'm very excited about that here we go, enough of me chatting away. We are going to rip away here at these weekend league rewards. The Hail Mary packs are always the worst packs 
that you can possibly get here. We're we'll getting Amari Cooper. If I get some sort of elite out of these, there's just some sort of really good card, I will take it. These are the least odds to get anything good out of, out of these packs. You have to complete a Hail Mary, essentially, to get something good out of these packs. But at least get two power-ups, two <laughs> cowboy receiver power-ups. Mm, ew. All right, midfield packs up next. We get two of these as well. We're getting a ton of power-ups here. Priest Holmes power-up. Don't know how good that is. An 81 overall Jets receiver. A uh, Mutt Superstar card. A Ultimate Kickoff card. And last but not least, a rookie card. This is a pretty colorful pack. All right. We got a lot. We got, you know, purple, red, green, blue, and kind of a light blue slash green mix. So, yeah, that was, I mean, that was a colorful pack. I'll take it. All right, midfield pack. Number two on deck here for you guys. We have the red zones coming up next. A flashback card. All right, an 87 overall, David Johnson. I'll take it out of a midfield pack too, nonetheless. Boom, highest overall there out of a midfield pack. Can't really expect that when you open up those packs, but you can't complain either. Moving on then to the red zone here, AJ Brown off the rip. We hit it from the back and we get an 82 Ryan Kelly. Another rookie card, Justin Fields, yada, yada, yada. I'm on Superstar, Taysom Hill. Three elites out of that pack. Not terrible. Not terrible indeed. Second red zone pack. We're getting closer to scoring that touchdown. Hopefully our touchdown pass can come in clutch for us. Another Superstar card. I don't know why I keep getting these Superstar cards. That's like the third one already. These cards came back. These cards came out in freaking September, and it's almost already midway through December. So I don't know why I keep getting those cards. Here we go, touchdown pack number one. We're starting it off with a legend, an 87 overall Johnny Unitas. I was excited, I thought that was gonna be a big legend. It's a day one legend, and it's not even the full legend. Pain indeed, another legend piece here, Daryl Rivas. We're getting a whole lot of day one stuff here. Yeah, I don't, I don't really understand. I don't understand, Allen Robinson power up, and a Thanksgiving card. 86 Juju, all right. Another colorful pack, an 87. Once again, still our highest overall, but we can do better than that. We can definitely do better than that here, baby. We can definitely do better than that, right? An 81, another ultimate kick, another uh, card from the uh, Superstar promo, an 86 punter, okay. Not bad. Team of the week, team of the week is off this week. An 86 Jeffrey Simmons, team of the week is gone until like the beginning of January because of the uh, Zero Chill promo, so there is no Team of the Week content in the game right now. And there is our touchdown pack. Two 86s. Yay. But like I said, here is where the money could be made. 89 overall plus elite player. It is not a fantasy pack, sadly. It is just an 89 overall plus. We're probably gonna get like an 89 overall card. I'm gonna guess it right here. We're probably gonna get an 89, we can get up to a 95, but we're probably gonna be hitting rock bottom here and getting an 89 overall card. Let's see. Come on, baby. It's a legend. It's a legend. It's a 91 Curtis Martin. Not horrible. I predicted I was gonna get an 89, but we got just, a, just two ticks above that. We got a 91 Curtis Martin. I don't know how much he's gonna be going for. He is part of that Jets theme team. Yeah, he's only going for about 70k at the moment, so not too expensive at all there. But you know what? I'll take it. It's a free 91 overall card for our performance this weekend in Weekend League. All right, so now we're going to go ahead. I'm going to show you guys my team, the team that I've used the past couple of weeks that has gotten me these 18 wins. And guys, it really has to do with one player and one player. Oh, there you can see on your screen. He is our new quarterback. We have been changing quarterbacks left and right. Up until the last two weeks, we have been using Dan Marino. Dagger Dick Dan, Big Dick Dan, Dan Marino, Team Diamond in the building. 96 overall has been our quarterback the last two weekend leagues. And you guys see the results. Two of our best weekend league performances to date. And this is mostly attributed, 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 grammar's hard to what his abilities are. And it's mostly because of these two right here. Hot Route Master for two AP. Guys, Hot Route Master is the best quarterback ability in the game other than the throwing abilities. Having the ability to put every one of your receivers on Hot Route Master routes is so 
crucial in my opinion, especially if you are a passer, especially if you like to run the meta passing formations like bunch, which I do, or trips tied in, or U trips, or bunch tied in. Having Hot Rod Master is absolutely crucial if you wanna go ahead and spend AP on uh, other things that I have, like Deep Out Elite, for example, or like Post Ups, which are my other abilities on offense. Having Hot Route Master is so crucial because I would have to spend like over, I think like four AP or maybe five AP just on route abilities themselves. But instead having Dan Marino, I can have just two of the AP spent so all of them can get the routes. So that's crucial. Hopefully that makes sense. I kind of explained that poorly. So if I did not have Hot Route Master, I was going to have to spend two AP for Slot Apprentice and then one AP each for Outside Apprentice. And then also backfield master, which is one. So yeah, I would have to spend five AP in route abilities, hot route abilities, I should say. By having hot route master though, I eliminate three of that AP to spend wherever else on the team. So that is one of the main reasons why I we went ahead and went with Dan Marino. Now Marino, I'm gonna love hate relationship with him. I absolutely love him some games and some games I absolutely hate him because he can cost you some games. His windup is pretty brutal at times, but his windup is also great at times. It's, it's inconsistent, but I'm gonna say this here, Dan Marino is gonna win you more games than Randall Cunningham. Randall Cunningham is only gonna get you as far as he can go, and trust me, he's gonna cost you more games than he's gonna win you games. Dan Marino, simply based on the fact that he gets the Hot Route Master ability, is gonna win you more games than not. Just gonna put that out there. Also, they just released Peyton Manning this past weekend as part of the Zero Chill promo. He's the first quarterback in the game this year that gets Hot Route Master and Gunslinger. Dan Marino cannot get Gunslinger quite yet because I don't think his throw power is up to up to uh, par with the threshold. But yes, Peyton Manning, no one's going to be using Peyton Manning though. I ran into only one player this weekend league running Peyton Manning and they lost. He only has like 52 speed. He's, he's unusable. He's unusable unless you want to laser left and right. Peyton Manning is not that guy. Also, his release is kind of wonky too. He's got the Justin Herbert release, which is kind of, it's not a great release at all. It stinks. That Peyton Manning stinks again, but it is what it is. Dan Marino, though, is our quarterback, and he's going to stay our quarterback until they come out with a new field general that can get Hot Route Master and Gunslinger. Dan Marino, once again, cannot get that yet. He can only get Hot Route Master, Pass Lead Elite. We're also using Identifier on him as well. I had one, one extra AP just chilling. Went ahead, and he gets Identifier for just one AP. So we went ahead and slapped that on, and it actually helps a lot when you're playing shitters because sometimes they'll be using this guy one play and then the next guy the next play and then you'll see who they're on with the identifier ability also with dan marino a gigantic reason why we went ahead and are now using him is because he gets every team cam he gets every team cam because he is the team diamond master the team diamond master the last two years it's all of the team cam so whatever theme team you're running you have dan marino he can fit the bill because he gets every team cam and of course like you see here we are still rocking the las vegas raiders so he gets the raiders cam he gets that speed boost he's up to 80 speed him being almost like 30 speed faster than peyton manning is actually insane but there you can see 94 throw power he's one throw power short of getting hot rod master and gunslinger he has to get to 95 stock in order to get gunslinger and hot rod master at the same time but yeah, this card is is absolutely amazing. He's still probably the best quarterback in the game. You can argue Randall Cunningham, but once again, I think Dan Marino has a slight edge. Randall Cunningham is so annoying to face off against because like you can't send three against him. You have to send five. You have to keep him in the pocket because people will want to run out of the pocket with him left and right. Not so much with Marino. He can get out of the pocket though with that 80 speed, <clears throat> which is nice. But he's also prone to fumbling too. I believe I fumbled with him like two or three times. Maybe, no, I think it was just twice this weekend trying to get a first down and uh, this didn't work out. He's just not a very good ball carrier. He's just a very good thrower of the ball. So yeah, Stan Marino, he has been probably the biggest reason that my offense has had the most success the last two weeks. I feel like offensively, I haven't played this good all year and uh, he has definitely been a big reason why. Once again, it's because of those abilities, man. Getting the Hot Rod Master for two AP is so, so big. Um, and then also he gets that pass lead elite, which is going to help him a lot throwing the ball. Other than that, the receiving core and the linemen, everything about that did not really change a whole lot. We did get this Walter Jones. They just released Walter Jones into the game. 
this past weekend as part of the Legends. Uh, I do not have the full Walter Jones. Don't plan on getting him because he's pretty expensive. But we are able to, we were able to power him up to a 93 overall with training. So he's been he's at our new he's our new left tackle placing. I think we had what I don't even remember who we had there. Some I think like Eric who we had there. I know we had yeah Eric Fisher. So we had there before big time upgrade there plus five overall boost up to a 93 for Walter Jones. But other than that, the players wise as far as the skill positions did not change hardly at all. We still have uh, Moss and Rice. We actually went ahead and picked up Djax. Not a fan of Djax at all because he's so because he's like what 510 or something like that he is i mean he is a speed demon he is a speed demon he's got that 97 speed yeah 510 just is not it's just not that good and just you know having the height actually mattering in this game is big and he does not have the height he has speed which you can't teach but he does not have the height unfortunately but once again we still have rice we still have moss and we still have Roger Craig. Roger Craig is an absolute demon. We still have Jared Cook cooking up here. Don't plan on getting another tight end until they release like, I don't know, even like another Darren Waller. They did release a new Kittle last week as well for team of the week. So maybe we can, you know, we can fit him in because I do have two extra spots here. I have two out of 50 so I could put two other players that are non Raiders into the lineup if need be. So I still get that speed boost, but yeah. That is virtually it. Nothing else has changed on the offense. Other than that, there was a new receiver that came up for the Raiders, Cliff Branch. I don't think I'm going to be getting him. I think I want to get one of the like tall Jets receivers like Keyshawn Johnson or Brandon Marshall, maybe even probably going to go with Keyshawn Johnson, though, because he looks demonic. He looks amazing. So we might make that upgrade here with the coins that we got from Weekly Rewards today. I'm not sure. I'll let you guys know when I stream later on tonight on Twitch. Over on the defensive side of the ball, I don't think really much else has changed either. I don't think really anything at all over the past couple of weeks has changed. No, the ability has changed either. Like I said, I have um, on offense, I have deep out elite on my receivers, and I got two posts up on my guards. Still out, we're all rocking all acrobats. The drop picks were still crazy this weekend. It is what it is. They did just release a brand new set of house rules, which is what we are going to be streaming later on tonight, uh, later on this evening on Twitch because they released a 92 overall Cordero Patterson cornerback card. Yeah, you heard that right. Cordero Patterson cornerback. He is most likely going to replace Nate Hobbs. There you see, he is most likely going to replace Nate Hobbs. Nate Hobbs is great, but the zone coverage being low does not help him. The reason why we are going to go ahead and make that switch to Cordero Patterson is because he gets insane abilities for insanely cheap AP. They made him get Acrobat, Human Joystick, and One Step Ahead for a combined three AP. Now, Acrobat on corners is two AP all across the board. When we take a look here, One Step Ahead, I believe is four. It's five on certain archetypes. Nate Hobbs is five. I think the man-to-man -man cover corners, it's four. And then human joystick. Uh, Nate Hobbs can't even get human joystick. Uh, I think human joystick is like five or six AP on corners. I'm not even sure, but with this Cordero Patterson, he gets all of those abilities. Those three, those are, are baked in. You can't change them at all, unfortunately. He gets them for three AP. So we'll have to go ahead. We'll probably take off one of our... Um, unpredictable abilities and we are going to try out Cordero Patterson now still got a long ways to go you have to win 30 games and house rules in order to get him I'm already at like eight I'm trying to get him as quickly as I can but I keep playing these sweaty f bots that want to you know sweat their dicks off the house and house rules for no reason so it's gonna be it's gonna take a grind or two it's gonna take a while to get Cordero Patterson but I think the grind's gonna be worth it because he is going to be insane he does get all of the team Kims from the teams that he's played. So I think he's played, he's played for the Patriots, the Bears, the Vikings. And of course he has played for the Raiders. So that is going to be insane when we are able to get that card. Once again, hopefully we can get him tonight. If not tomorrow, I'll be streaming house rules on my Twitch channel. Once again, that is linked down below in my link tree. But guys, that is pretty much it. As far as the players wise, I was able to go ahead and secure uh, this strategy item, which helps not only corners, but it helps our, the entire defensive backs. It's called in the zone. It gives them all a speed boost. Now we still have the island, which gives my corners speed. 
but it doesn't give my safety speed. This track card gives all both of them speed. It gives the safeties and the, the cornerbacks a speed boost. We're trying to get the second one of these so they can so we can stack the speed. So that is what we're gonna try to do. I've got the coins now. I think I wanna go ahead and get another receiver with the coins that I have now instead of going for the strat items. Um, I went for the strat items last week. I was able to get this one luckily. So just have to get one more and we don't have to worry about the strategy items any longer here in Madden 22. But guys, that is pretty much it. Hopefully you enjoyed my top 100 weekly rewards. I know they were kind of, uh, they were pretty mid pretty mid to say the least but i hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless thank you guys for tuning in we will see you tonight over on my twitch hopefully you guys come out and chill and have a good time with me uh expect another gameplay coming tomorrow and thursday as well of games from this past weekend league and of course thursday we'll be starting up weekly league once again over on twitch so thank you guys for tuning in we'll see you tomorrow we'll see you later tonight peace out